in our last module we have discussed pointwise convergence of sequence of functions uh, and also seen some examples on deciding the limits and uh, pointwise convergence, uh, how to decide the pointwise convergence and given some examples. In this module, we shall discuss another mode of convergence of sequence of functions which is known as uniform convergence. Actually uniformity means uh, for every x the convergence holds. So in this module, we shall define uniform convergence, give some examples using the first principle or the definition and then provide a necessary and sufficient condition for checking uniform convergence. Uh, we also discuss uh, the definition with some examples and uh, give uh, necessary illustrations for uh, the uniform convergence. Uh, however, the most important thing with uniform convergence is that uh, it enables us to interchange uh, some operations, some mathematical operations. For example, uh, we can uh, interchange the operations of limits, one taken over x and the another taken over n. So we can exchange this, uh, we can also exchange uh, differentiation and limit, that is uh, we can interchange, uh, we can uh, interchange limit as n tends to infinity with the derivative sign of uh, f n x with respect to x. And finally, uh, we also see that uh, Uniform convergence enables one to check the limit inside an integral. So this is all about this module. So we have just seen uh, what is pointwise convergence and we have also seen some examples. Uh, uh, it is seen that for pointwise convergence uh, it is necessary to get a feasible choice of new x epsilon so that the question is natural whether we can find a new dash depending only on epsilon such that the convergence holds. So in a way uh, we want to know whether we can find some n independent of x uh, retaining the property of convergence. So this leads to the concept of uniform convergence. So let us consider some examples. Uh, so first of all consider the sequence of functions x to the power n divided by n square for x belonging to open interval minus 1 plus 1 and we have already seen that f n x tends to 0 pointwise on uh, the open interval minus 1 plus 1. Now one can recall that for the above example we get a choice mu x epsilon which equals uh, box of 1 by square root of epsilon plus 1. Uh, naturally, such a choice is independent of x, uh, thus we get a common value of new x epsilon ensuring pointwise convergence. Uh, or, in a, or in other words, uh, we get a choice of, we get a range of values of n which is independent of x. Uh, therefore, the point, the convergence in this case is more than pointwise and termed uniform in the sense that a uniform choice of new x epsilon exists. That is uh, such a new x epsilon is independent of any x. Uh, so let us come to our formal definition of uniform convergence. Suppose f n x is a sequence of functions on A to R. f n x is said to converge uniformly on A, uh, the set A. if for any given epsilon greater than 0, there exists an integer a nu dash depending only on epsilon such that for all x belonging to A and n greater than equal to nu dash, the absolute value of f n x minus f x is less than epsilon is satisfied. Uh, one can uh, use some symbol to indicate uniform convergence on n. Uh, naturally, uh, it is easy to observe that uniform convergence implies pointwise convergence and uniform convergence on some set A implies that on some set B where B is a subset of A. So let us start some uh, graphical illustration of uniform convergence. Uh, 
Suppose f n x is a sequence of functions on A to R such that f n converges uniformly on A. Then uniform convergence can be thought of the existence of some new dash independent of x such that the graph of f n will lie inside the band uh, f minus epsilon up to f plus epsilon for every n greater than equal to new dash. Actually the existence of such a band uh, can be seen from the definition of uh, uniform convergence. So the concept the bands can be seen from the graph that there is some f plus f the curve of f plus epsilon and there is some curve of f minus epsilon and as we increase uh, n we get all the curves uh, to be all the curves uh, are enclosed within this band. So as earlier we need some uh, intuitive methods for checking uniform convergence. Uh, suppose uh, using some intuitive method a limit function f is decided and pointwise convergence is established. Also suppose we get some new x epsilon for epsilon greater than 0 and x belonging to A. So consider two points A and B both belonging to the set A. Then for a given epsilon greater than 0 we get real numbers mu A epsilon and mu B epsilon such that the inequalities absolute value of fn a minus f a less than epsilon and absolute value of fn b minus f b less than epsilon are both satisfied. Naturally uh, the first inequality is satisfied for every n greater than equal to new a epsilon and the second inequality is satisfied for every n uh, greater than equal to new b epsilon. So the both the inequalities will be satisfied uh, if n greater than equal to maximum of new a epsilon and new b epsilon. The above suggests that if a feasible new dash epsilon uh, which is defined as the supremum of new x epsilon over the set B exists for some uh, subset B below of A then f n might converge uniformly to B uh, to f on B. So let us illustrate the concept using some examples. So as earlier considered the sequence of functions defined by x square by n for x belonging to the real line. Then uh, as earlier for fixed x we find the limit as 0 for every x belonging to R and we have determined mu x epsilon as box x square by epsilon uh, plus 1. Uh, naturally the supremum value of uh, mu x epsilon uh, over the range over the whole real line is not finite. But for example, if we consider the supremum value over some subset uh, say 0 to A, then we get the supremum value as absolute as the box of A square by epsilon plus 1 uh, which is finite uh, as long as A is finite. Therefore, uh, Fn converges uniformly on the interval 0 to A, open interval 0 to A, uh, whereas Fn converges to 0 point wise for every x belonging to the real line. So we find that point wise convergence does not imply uniform convergence always, but uh, the uniform convergence over 0 to a implies point wise convergence of f n to the same function over the same interval 0 a. Uh, next consider our uh, old example where the sequence of function is defined as x to the power n for x belonging to open interval 0 1. Uh, then using the methods previously discussed we find that limit of f n x equal to f x point wise on 0 1 for f x equal to 0 for all x belonging to open interval 0 1. Uh, then as earlier uh, we can uh, we have as earlier we have derived mu x epsilon as a uh, box of log epsilon divided by log x plus 1. Uh, however, uh, limit of mu x epsilon as x tends to 1 minus is uh, not finite and hence the convergence cannot be uniform on open interval 0 1. However, mu x epsilon is an increasing function in x and hence 
uh, if we take some d uh, belonging to the open interval 0 1 then supremum uh, of mu x epsilon over the interval 0 b open interval 0 b uh, is uh, finite and is given by mu b epsilon. Therefore, the convergence is uniform over 0 b uh, where d is strictly less than 1. Consider our next example uh, which involves the sequence of functions x to the power n by n square for x belonging to the open interval minus 1 to plus 1. Uh, we have already seen pointwise convergence to f x equal to 0 for all x belonging to real line uh, uh, and we have also decided n uh, or nu x epsilon as box of 1 by square root of epsilon plus 1. So, in this case it is very clear that uh, we automatically give some choice of nu x epsilon which is independent of x and hence the convergence is uniform over the uh, over the open interval minus 1 plus 1. Thus, we observe from the previous examples uh, that pointwise convergence on A does not necessarily imply convergence uh, does, does not necessarily imply uniform convergence on A. Actually, in this example we get uh, pointwise and uh, as well as uniform convergence over the same interval, but in the previous example we have seen uh, pointwise convergence on a uh, greater set and uh, uniform convergence in a subset. So, next uh, consider the sequence of functions n x divided by x plus n for positive x. Uh, it is already seen that uh, the sequence of functions converge to x pointwise for all x greater than 0 and the corresponding choice for nu x epsilon comes out as uh, box of epsilon divided by x square plus 1. Uh, in this case also the limit of epsilon divided by x square as x tends to 0 plus does not exist and hence convergence cannot be uniform over 0 infinity, uh, the open interval uh, 0 infinity. Uh, however, uh, 1 by x square is a decreasing function and hence supremum of nu x epsilon uh, is finite for some x belonging to b uh, a subset b where b can be taken as a left closed right open interval a b with positive a. Hence, the convergence is uniform over a b for some positive a. Uh, in our next example we consider the sequence of functions n x divided by x square plus n square for positive x. Uh, we have already seen that uh, the pointwise limit is uh, 0 uh, on the interval 0 infinity and we have also deduced the corresponding choice nu x epsilon as uh, absolute uh, sorry box of epsilon divided by x square plus 1. Then just as in the previous example it can be shown that convergence is uh, uniform over a b for some positive a. Uh, similarly, uniform convergence for the other examples uh, as we have discussed in case of pointwise convergence can also be investigated. So, so far we have discussed a uniform convergence from first principle that is whether a maximum value of nu x epsilon exists or not or if exist on which interval it exists. And, uh, uh, finding such an interval we have decided uniform convergence of the sequence of functions. So, uh, but uh, for uh, some complicated examples we need some uh, mathematical uh, formulation uh, so that uh, we can one can check uniform convergence uh, easily. So, we need some simpler conditions. So, suppose f n x is a sequence of functions on a to r which converges pointwise to some f x on a. Then f n x converges to f x pointwise on b uh, which is a subset of a if and only if m n uh, which is defined as the supremum of absolute value of f n x minus f x uh, where the range of supremum is x belonging to b. Uh, tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. Thus, we get a simpler condition for uniform convergence. Actually, 
uh, we are replacing our uh, uh, finding maximum by some sequence of n and to check whether it uh, this goes to 0 and if it goes to 0 then uh, we can say uniform convergence over the set D and if it does not 0 go to 0 uh, uniform convergence cannot be decided. So, uh, let us uh, discuss some consequences of uniform convergence. Uh, if f n x and g n x uh, converge uniformly on A, then C f n x, C multiplied by f n x also converges to uh, C f x uh, uniformly on A and if we consider the sum function that is f n x plus g n x, then this sum function also converges to the uh, f x uh, plus g x on A, where f x is taken as the uniform convergent uh, the point wise limit of f n and g x is taken as the point wise limit of g n. Uh, now, uh, again if uh, f n x uh, converges point wise uh, sorry f n x converges uniformly to f x and g n x converges uniformly to g x on A and there exists some quantity m uh, which is positive such that absolute value of f n x less than equal to m and absolute value of g n x is also less than equal to m then the product function f n x multiplied by g n x also converges to f x g x uniformly on A. So, let us consider some example of this, uh, consider uh, first of all the sequence of functions given by n x multiplied by e to the power minus n x for x greater than equal to 0. We have already seen that f n x converges to 0 uh, for x greater than equal to 0, but the mode of convergence was point wise and the mode of convergence was also uniform over some suitable interval. So, let us consider our uh, mathematical definition for illustration. So, in this case m n is defined as supremum over the range x greater than equal to 0 of n x e to the power minus n x and a simple algebra shows that uh, n x multiplied by e to the power minus n x has a unit maximum at x equal to 1 by n and thus m n comes out as e to the power minus 1 which is non-zero non and independent of n. Thus the convergence is not uniform over the uh, 0 infinity set. However, if we consider a subset for uh, subset 1 to infinity, then m n tends to 0 and hence the convergence is uniform on B. Uh, consider our next example which is uh, on uh, which, which involves the sequence of functions x to the power n for x belonging to 0 1. Uh, we define f x as 0 that is the limit function as 0 if 0 less than equal to x less than 1 and f x as 1 for x equal to 1. Uh, naturally the convergence holds trivially for x equal to 0 or 1. However, we have already seen that f n x converges to f x point wise on x belonging to 0 1 interval. Uh, now m n uh, is defined as the supremum value of x to the power n for x in the range closed interval 0 1. Since x to the power n is a is an increasing function, it has a unique maximum at x equal to 1, thus m n equal to 1 uh, which is different from 0 and hence the convergence is not uniform over the whole closed interval 0 1. However, if we consider B as a subset of 0 to 1 uh, that is say closed interval 0 to A, closed interval 0 to A for A strictly less than 1 then m n tends to 0 and hence the convergence is uniform on B. Uh, next consider our uh, already discussed example that is f n x is the indicator of uh, absolute value of x less than equal to n. Uh, it is already seen that the point wise limit is 1 for every x. Uh, however, the absolute value of f n x minus f x comes out as indicator of absolute value of x exceeding n. Uh, now, for every n greater than equal to 1 indicator of absolute value of x greater than n is either 0 or 1. Thus, uh, in any case m n equal to 1 uh, which does not converge to 0 and hence the convergence is not uniform. Uh, though 
uh, we have seen pointwise convergence uh, for this example. So next consider our next example uh, where the sequence of function is defined as x square multiplied by e to the power minus nx for x belonging to 0 1. Uh, it is easy to observe that f n x converges to f x pointwise on 0 1 uh, for the limit function f x equal to 0 for x belonging to closed interval 0 1. Now in this case the supremum value uh, comes out uh, can be calculated and we find m n using the supremum value. Actually a simple algebra shows that x square multiplied by e to the power minus n x has a unique maximum at x equal to 2 by n and thus m n comes out as 4 by n square multiplied by e to the power minus 2 which goes to 0 and hence the convergence is not uniform over 0 1. So let us consider some facts or some consequences of uniform convergence. The first one is involving uniform convergence and limit interchanging. If f n x converges to f x uniformly on A where f n is continuous on A for every n then f is also continuous on A thus for any small a belonging to capital A uh, we have limit x tends to A again limit n tends to in infinity f n x is the same as limit n tends to infinity then of limit x tends to A f n x that is the limit operations on x and n are interchangeable as a consequence of uniform convergence. So next consider uniform convergence and uh, differentiation. Suppose uh, f n x is a sequence of functions on closed interval a b such that for some x naught belonging to open interval a b f n x naught uh, tends to f x naught and f n dash x that is the first derivative of f n x with respect to x exists at all x belonging to closed interval a b and converges uniformly to some function g on closed interval a b. Then f n x uh, converges uniformly to f x on closed interval a b and g x is uh, f dash x for all x belonging to closed interval a b that is uh, limit of the derivative of f n x is the same as the derivative of the limit of f n x for every x belonging to a b that is uh, as a consequence of uniform convergence uh, differentiation and limit operations uh, become interchangeable. Uh, lastly we discuss uh, the exchangeability of uh, integration and limit. Uh, suppose f n x is a sequence of Riemann integrable functions on a b uh, that is closed interval a b such that f n x converges uniformly on f x uh, on a b then uh, f the limit function is also Riemann integrable on closed interval a b and limit of the integral of f n x uh, the integral over the range a to b f n x dx is the same as the integral over a to b of the limit function that is limit n tends to infinity f n x dx. So we lastly we find that uh, as a consequence of uniform convergence we can interchange the limits of uh, limits on x and n we can interchange uh, differentiation and limit operators and we can also interchange uh, the integration and uh, limit operators. So we have just seen uh, how uniform convergence works, uh, what are the consequences of uniform convergence, uh, how to decide uniform convergence and some necessary and sufficient conditions for checking uniform convergence. Uh, all these are illustrated using some examples. However, uh, like our ordinary uh, sequence and series, we can also have se series of functions that is a series which not only involve uh, which also involve x. So such type of series are called series of functions and there are some concepts of convergence and checking methods of convergence. So in our next module we shall discuss uh, convergence of series, uh, convergence of series of functions and uh, give some consequences of convergence in terms of uh, exchange of operations like limit, differentiation and integration.